effective drug delivery system. Once it is clear that what is the targeting, we'll see what are the various levels of drug targeting. So this includes passive targeting, inverse targeting, active targeting, ligand mediated targeting, physical targeting, dual targeting, double targeting, and combination targeting. So we'll see one by one each one of these. What is passive targeting? That is a system that target the systemic circulation. Uh, these are generally characterized as the passive delivery systems. So here, the targeting occurs because of the body's natural response to the physical chemical characteristics of the drug carrier system. Okay, what exactly that? It is a sort of a passive process that utilizes the natural course of biodistribution of the carrier system, which eventually accumulate in the organ or compartments of the body. Right? That is normally whatever is happening in the body to any foreign material is happening to your drug moiety. And this way, the moiety is getting accumulated in the area. Okay, and it happens that that is the area where you want the drug to be released. So by the natural course of the uh, that moiety distribution, that drug substance distribution, it is going to that particular area, and that is the area where you want the drug to be released. So that is the body's natural response. So the ability of some colloidal um, formulations to be taken up by the reticuloendothelial system, especially in the liver, and the spleen has made them as an ideal vector for passive hepatic targeting of the drugs to these compartments. So, for example, there is some disease related to the liver, related to the spleen, and normally whatever the formulation, whatever the drug which we administer, no, it is the mechanism of the body that that formulation or the drug goes to RES system and when it goes to the RES system it is by the body's natural process it is going in that particular area and once in that particular area the drug is available to act on whatever is the pathological or disease state of that particular organ like liver or the spleen. So this way you can treat the diseases which are related to the spleen or the liver. Now we'll see the passive hepatic targeting for macrophage associated diseases. Now what are macrophages? What are macrophages? See we have got in the body white blood cells which are also called as leukocytes and these contain uh, polynuclear cells like your neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils and they also contain monocyte cells okay now these monocyte cells they uh, uh, after they move out of the blood vessels they go to the various tissues and when they go to various tissues there there is enormous increase in their size because of increase in the amount of lysosomes and mitochondria present in the cells See, remember in the cell there are various components. So among the various components, uh, you have got these uh, lysosomes and the mitochondria. So these monocytes are otherwise smaller, but when they come out of the blood vessel and they go to the various tissues, there is an increase in their size. So then they are called as a macrophages. Okay, We know what is called as a MPS system. What is MPS system? MPS is mononuclear phagocytic systems. These monocytes, na, they are getting converted into the macrophages. So uh, if there is any diseases of the system, it will be taken care by this type of a targeted delivery systems, passive hepatic targeting for the macrophage associated diseases. So what are the macrophage related infected cell lines? For example, intracellular parasites. Hmm? Uh, that is the liver has got some infection. The hepatocytes are infected. Like for example, uh, leishmaniasis, brucellosis, candidiasis. So what are the drugs here? These are anti-malarial or anti-infective drugs. So these will be uh, present in your carrier 
and this carrier by default will be going to this macrophages and those macrophages uh, will or uh, will direct them to the liver and in the liver the disease is getting cured because of this system then the neoplasm like leukemia hodgkin's disease viral infected diseases so here what is the drug the drug is a cytotoxic and antiviral drug so these drugs can be directed to this neoplasm like leukemia this is the way the uh, the macrophage system can be used for the delivery of the drug uh, so we'll see this passive targeting what are its disadvantages here the extra vessage is poor with the microparticulate systems as they do not cause the endothelial cell lines see the formulation you are administered by the intravenous route from this in blood the composition the component should come out of the blood vessel and these uh, micro particulates they are larger in size and therefore the chances that they will cross these endothelial cell lines are very less that is a limitation so the attempts have been made for targeting them to the intra vesicular non res cell lines and to increase the circulation half life by exploiting the strategies that involve modification of the size surface charge composition surface rigidity and surface hydrophilicity so these are the attempts done in order to increase their uh, extravasation that is coming out of the blood vessel and to go in a particular site now we have seen about the passive targeting passive targeting means by the virtue of the body system the delivery system is going in that particular area and we know that the colloidal drug delivery systems can go to this particular area in the case of passive targeting now you don't want the drug to go to this particular area so what we can do is we can give some blank colloidal drug delivery system which will go by its own route to these systems uh, i mean to say these res system and the res system is getting saturated if the res system is getting saturated the new drug delivery system which you are administering will not be pointed or will not be directed towards the res so now this system is available for going to the other targets where they are required to be present so when you want to treat the diseases of a system other than reticular endothelial system you can go for a inverse tar targeting okay so based on the attempts to circumvent and avoid the passive uptake of the colloidal carriers by reticular endothelial systems leading to reversion of the biodistribution trend of the carrier right so the function of the res is suppressed by a pre injection of a colloidal carrier or a macromolecule like dextran sulfate leading to reticular endothelial blockade and resulting in the impairment of the host defense system okay alternative strategies can be modification of the size surface charge composition surface rigidity and hydrophilicity of the carrier for the desired biofilm so you can make otherwise these changes in your carrier system in your delivery system so that it will not be captured by the res system and it will go to your target for example for in order to get captured by the res system the delivery system has got a some size so if you change that size okay if you make that size a smaller it will not get uh, 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 analyzed by your res system not get captured by the res system and then it will go to the other required target hmm? so these elam and dave is a reported that poloxamine 908 is a hydrophilic non ionic surfactant which diverts the normal rs uptake of the coated emulsion and coated nanoparticles that is the polystyrene microspheres to the 
inflammatory sites in the rabbit so this was one observation made right then lee and co workers in 1995 they suggested the inverse targeting of the drugs to the sites other than the res rich organs by coating the lipid micro emulsion with the poloxamer so by this way you are actually fooling the res system okay that is the formulation will not be taken by the res system see what is required you know in the case of uh, macrophage uptake of the delivery system the formulation should be hydrophobic if it is hydrophobic na it gets ad gets adhere very well to the macrophage and then it gets removed by the macrophage so what you can do is you can make the delivery system hydrophilic so you must have heard what is pig elation peg polyethylene glycol coating on the surface of that uh, de delivery system so when you uh, coat it with peg the system becomes hydrophilic and because the system is no more hydrophobic it is not uh, recognized by the res system by the macrophage system and therefore it will be remaining in the circulation for a longer time period and that will give an opportunity to go to the target site and exert it for a longer time as well as it is going to increase the duration of time period over which it is going to be active so that was regarding the inverse targeting the next is a active targeting so when we say active targeting means it is not the body's natural course which is directing the dosage form to a particular area but you have to do something to your dosage form so that it goes to that specific target site so it involves modification or functionalization of the drug carrier so that the contents are delivered exclusively to the site corresponding to which the carrier is architect means the a uh, specific target has got certain receptor and corresponding to those receptor some ligands are attached to your delivery system so again i'm saying the term homing device means the delivery system has got those ligands or homing device they will take the delivery system to their home to their receptor okay so that's why these are called as a homing devices so the natural distribution pattern of the drug carrier composite is enhanced using chemical biological and physical method so the active targeting will include three types of three orders of targeting first order targeting means restricted distribution of the drug carrier system to the capillary bed of a predetermined target site organ or tissue so it is going to a tissue okay and the tissue is made up of cells right so in the case of second order targeting there is a selective drug delivery to a specific cell type like a tumor cells okay and not to the normal cell for example kafer cells now these are present in the liver and these are the type of the macrophages which are present in the liver as i told you earlier uh, these uh, uh, monocytes okay which are a part of your white blood cells so these monocytes they are getting distributed to various tissues and their their increase in the size of these monocytes because of increase in the number of lysosomes and mitochondria and now when they are present in a particular tissue these are uh, called that macrophages in that area and depending upon what is the area that they are getting accumulated they are differentiated into different cells for example they are called kafer cells when they are present in the liver so if there is something coming to the liver which is foreign it will be recognized by these kafer cells and it will be getting removed so like that in each and every tissue you have got these macrophages and this full system then it is called as a reticulo endothelial systems okay what is that which is containing the macrophages which when we call it as a mononuclear uh, phagocytic systems right so that is uh, uh, these res system now one more thing i will just like to tell here is about what is the reticulo endothelial systems now earlier it was thought that these uh, is these uh, 
body's protective mechanisms of these uh, macrophage systems are because of the endothelial cells of the blood vessels and therefore these systems were called earlier reticulo endothelial systems why that term uh, endothelial is coming it's because earlier it was thought that this is because of the endothelial cells of the blood vessels but now it is understood that it is not because of the endothelial cells but it is because of the monocytes which are leading to the formation of the macrophages present in the tissues which gives overall you the various uh, systems or components of reticulo endothelial systems okay so this is second order targeting so first it was a tissue tissues are made up of the cells so second order targeting is nothing but the uh, targeting at the cell level now after the cell the next is component will be you have to enter into the cells so the drug delivery specifically to the intracellular organelles of the target cells for example lysos uh, lysosomes so these are the components which are present inside the cell okay so these can be delivered to the lysosome that is a third order targeting hmm? now we'll divide the active targeting further classified into uh, uh, ligand mediated targeting and phys physical targeting ligand mediated targeting means you are attaching the delivery system to a specific a carrier system it's 1130 